What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl said from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your December 2022 general reading. Disclaimer, before we get into the video, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you're looking for sunshine and rainbows, goody goody gumdrops and whatnot, this is not the place. If you are looking for a reader who's going to lie to you, it's not me. <laughs> However, if you are looking for the truth, serve straight up. Just like the libations that we pour for our ancestors, this is the place and I am your girl, so welcome. Scorpio, if you're new here and you're still here, congratulations, you made it past the disclaimer, you are a real one. Let me know what's real by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and saying hello in the comments below. If you are not new, then it's because of you that this channel continues to grow and thrive, so thank you so much for all of your support. If you're looking for our personal readings and spiritual drip, things of that nature. You're going to find it at SavvySentian.com. It's linked in the description box below, along with my Patreon information and channel membership information. Uh, at the end of this reading, please stay tuned. There will be a coin divination. So have three questions ready to ask, yes or no, and you will have those answers at the end of the reading. But let's get into your channeled message. All right. So Scorpio, your message says, when are you going to break your silence? You've been quiet long enough. When is it your time? Someone is running their mouth about you and you've chosen the high road. It's time to expose someone. All right. So let's see what this is about. <laughs> it's the yikes for me. All right. So we're going to start with the wild unknown tarot as we do. And what is the overall energy spirit of this message for Scorpio? All right. I see the chariot and the ace of cups moving towards some type of happiness very quickly. Some type of new relationship, possibly. Maybe that's why somebody mad and running it out because you're moving on to better things. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, moving on to better things, like I said. All right, so some of your wishes are coming true. We're going to get uh, into the hip-hop queens for your leading energy. And what is your overall energy from the hip-hop queens? Vision, left eye. Also, this can indicate for some of you all, um, psychic vision, if you are more spiritual with all of this cups energy, the nine of cups, the ace of cups, um, the chariot even being about uh, fast movement towards your destiny, towards alignment. Okay. Um, so left eye's message goes as follows. Her keywords are insight, foresight, hindsight, Third eye vision, y'all know my girl was spiritual, uh, introspection, and emotional blindness. Lisa Left Eye Lopez maintained a mantra that the eye is right, a play on both her always coming correctly, an eye for an eye, and trusting her third eye instincts. It's something that the late rapping member of TLC held as truth from her life to her music. Left eye's lens was sharp. She was focused on topics like love language, sex, social commentary, racism, and even intense journeys looking within. Sometimes she would playfully highlight her inconsistencies, like punning about setting fire to her boyfriend's home on Little Kim's Ladies Night Remix, while other times she would envelop profound message, uh, messages in metaphors, like she did on TLC's hit single, Waterfalls. Even when a condom was covering her eye, left eye was urged, left eye urged everyone, including herself, to take a deeper look. Pulling left eye's card means that some part of your life requires deeper analysis. You are attempting to sort through some things and dissecting either the past, present, or even the future will prove beneficial. So often, the solution is right in front of our face. We simply refuse to see it. Again, as left eye says, the eye is right. So no matter what decision you make, it will be the right answer for you. Be sure to investigate all possibilities and attempt to view the situation from all angles. Remember, while we have two visible eyes, your third eye is equally important. 
Trust your intuition and gut instinct when navigating your decision-making process. The truth will guide you, not blind you. All right? So, again, you may be needing to speak a truth on something. You may uh, be feeling intuitively guided to speak your truth. Perhaps someone needs to hear it. Perhaps you are going to be helping someone by exposing someone else. Okay, we I see the Empress as I split the deck and the Four of Pentacles. Empress is all about self-love, growth, and fertility. Um, perhaps whatever this is that you're needing to speak truth on has become a blockage. And in order to free yourself, in order to gain um, true peace, you need to speak up for yourself. All right, so let's see what this is about. Spirit, what's going on? Tarot, temperance, healing. This is about some type of healing, okay? Getting some type of balance, okay? What else we have here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, you might have to speak up on something. You might have to speak up on something. You may be receiving a message from someone maybe pertaining to the situation that you need to speak up on. Perhaps you're getting several messages from people saying, you know, so-and-so is saying this and so-and-so is saying that. Like I said, in the channel message, someone is running their mouth about you. Six of Cups, about the past. All right, maybe someone from the past, an ex or something, trying to throw dirt on your name. Girl, Hermit Energy. This uh, left eye part was saying something about introspecting. Mm, tell me more about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Ten of Cups. Would it make you happy? Would it make you happier? It feels like whatever this is, is a blockage. It, it feels like it's um, long overdue. It's been in the way for some time. Hmm. And it may be obstructing your happily ever after, or perhaps you have gained some type of peace and you are living, you know, a good life right now. And someone is, you know, behind the scenes slandering you, trying to interrupt your peace and your happiness that you found. Two of Wands with the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're trying to find another way around the blockage besides what you're intuitively feeling, which is to address the situation directly. I feel like you may not want that drama right now, which is really behooving me because Scorpios, <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't know any Scorpios that don't, that don't be with the drama. So I don't know. They don't care about being a little messy. But um, maybe you've gotten to a place where that's not what you want anymore. You've grown out of that. Maybe I'm speaking to more elevated Scorpios. Okay. But it feels like you're trying to find a way around it that doesn't involve all the, all the drama. Seven of Cups energy. You may be wanting to get clarity about what you want to say or get clear about who's saying what to make sure that whatever you have to say is directed at whoever it needs to be directed at. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Page of Swords, yeah, you trying to, <laughs> I said, if it's not directed, it's not respected. You're trying to get clear on who the fuck is running their mouth. Page of Wands in the reverse is gossipy. And you want to know exactly who, who said what, so I know who exactly to clap at. But I feel like still, you're not going to do it in a way that is uh, beneath you. Like I said, I feel like I'm speaking to elevated Scorpios. So you are going to get clear on who's saying what, and the way that you're going to air them out is going to make you look so adult, <laughs> so eloquent, and it's going to 
have everybody side eyeing this person. Like, why did why did you say that <laughs> about Scorpio? Because what Scorpio was saying, and then with the receipts, it's looking like you just um, causing drama. Like leave, leave Scorpio alone. <laughs> it may even cause people to rally behind you once they hear the full truth of your situation. Hmm. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I feel like someone's trying to tear you down with the Three of Pentacles being about promotion. I feel like someone's trying to tear you down because maybe, like I said, you're, you're happy, you're getting your happy ever after. And once you speak your peace, you're gonna have people looking at this person crazy. You're gonna have people, <laughs> Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups, walking away from this person, moving away from this person, and no longer trusting this person. Cause they're gonna see the truth. They're gonna see like, you've been minding your business. And this person is just bitter and trying to tear you down cause they haven't gotten over the past. And that's also going to help you move on from this as well. Both of these cards are about moving on and walking away from what doesn't serve you emotionally or mentally. So I feel like this is kind of like the last showdown. This is like the last, you know, the last battle that you have to face with this person, with this situation before you move on to truly enjoy your peace, okay? Any last words from the tarot? Five of Swords. Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So what I feel with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands is like whoever this person is, this manipulator, you're coming in as the Knight of Wands and you're shutting the shit down, all right? You're tired of this person talking shit. You're tired of this person trying to manipulate people's minds and airing them out. You're going to air them out and have them <laughs> have them in this five of pinnacles energy. They're going to take a loss for fucking with you. And it's all about the way that you're going to handle it, okay? It's all about the way you're going to handle it. You're going to put them on their ass and that's going to lead you to Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning that's more stable, possibly in a relationship or partnership with the Two of Cups. I'm also getting a message that for some of you all who are already in a relationship, this is someone from your past, an ex or someone, by like contacting your person and trying to tell them little things or trying to make it seem as though like you're still trying to reach out. And you're going to come with the receipts. You're going to come with the DM messages. You're going to come with the text messages, like showing how this person has been trying to pursue you and how many times you've shut them down. Okay. Yeah. Bottom, <laughs> bottom of the deck is the two of cups and the fucking justice card. So you're definitely bringing justice to the situation, finally making something right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your moonology. Okay. Moonology. What messages do we have for the Scorpio Collective? Messages. All right. So the first card we have, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So the full moon in Gemini speaks about uh, communication that's going to bring about closure to a situation. All right. So like I said, I think you're about to hear somebody out. Communication is going to be had that finally puts the last nail in the coffin um, and ends the situation. It's time to release the negativity, full moon and Scorpio. It's time to dead the situation and get it done once and for all. Like I said, it feels like a completion. And finally, it's a time to give rather than to take. And what this indicates is that it's time to do things differently. So like I said in the beginning, you may have been ignoring this person, Okay. Just trying to do you, staying silent, not speaking your peace. And finally, you're going to have to shift gears and, and speak up. All right. So let's get into your crystal spirit. What messages do we have for the crystal spirits? 
See Malachi right there. All right, and we have watermelon tourmaline number 58, which reduces down to 13, which in tarot is the death card, which in tarot represents you, your energy. It's time to finally dead something, okay? So watermelon tourmaline's essential meaning is seen perfection in the moment, basking in the bliss of just being, and natural joy in a peaceful heart. Watermelon tourmaline spirit comes bearing the message that divine order supports you in experiencing your bliss. Notice the perfection in this moment, that unbreakable connection to the universal consciousness within you. The conscious universe is here to guide you, so you may feel and experience bliss as it radiates outward. Your outer conditions will soon respond with the reflection of your natural joy and your peaceful heart. Forget the small stuff today and simply be present. Feeling your bliss, experiencing that you are where you need to be. Filled with joy, enthusiasm, and optimism right now. Yes, problems exist and they always will. Watermelon Tourmaline Spirit is here to remind you that they do not have to define your experience in this life and that you are an extremely powerful healer and co-creator. So let joy and peace arise within you. You are asked to now acknowledge your creative power and your ability to collaborate in the great healing work of the all. Do not let your ego distract you from the pleasure of knowing that each moment you are here, you have the distinct honor of being able to contribute to the healing of the planet and all of her creatures. The conscious universe is giving you a shout out. So bask in your bliss. Life is good and getting better every moment. So I do feel like you've been enjoying life. And <laughs> I just saw, okay, I just saw a boot step on a roach. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening. Like you're enjoying life and here comes this roach, like trying to crawl over your picnic or whatever, crawl all over your shit. And you just need to stomp that roach out so you continue to enjoy this blissful life that you are enjoying. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this person out of the way with the shenanigans and their bullshit. All right, so let's get your advice. Advice, advice. What is the advice for Scorpio? Two of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I think that's a, that that jilted lover, whoever you left in the in the dust, magician. Period. Period. So you have the Two of Cups with the magician and the Five of Wands. What I feel like with this energy is yeah, it's time for you to just leave the situation. Um, this person, <laughs> they ain't in alignment, they ain't been in alignment, they're not really worth your time, but I do feel like you still need to speak your peace, but then no longer engage in conflict. In fact, what you are manifesting, what you are trying to create, the resources available to you are resources that can allow you to no longer have to deal with conflict and drama. If this person is excessive, doing too much, one of those resources may be a restraining order. I don't know. Um, cease and assist order. I don't know. Um, but we do have the Daughter of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the star right underneath it, which is saying that something more uh, beautiful is coming in for you, that healing is coming in for you, that, you know, even for some of you, maybe celebrity or star power is coming in for you right now so handle what you have to handle let this situation be you know complete and then enjoy your happiness enjoy your bliss okay uh postcard from spirit let's hear it and it says dear you there is a balance between activity and rest ebb and flow you can't have one without the other if you're faced with an obstacle right now the best course is surrender and non-resistance. You've been resisting saying anything to this person. Stop resisting that. <laughs> Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life and go with the flow. And in no time, you'll reach what you have your heart and your hopes set on. 
Just remember, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the current. When it's time for a greater effort, you will know exactly what, what, when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow cycles of your life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust the, those currents, for we're right there with you with our little umbrella drinks, smiling at your success. Love you so very much. Okay, and let's get into your questions. So go ahead and ask your first question, yes or no, and you can pause the video if you need to. All right, Spirit, what is the answer to Scorpio's question number one? It's a soft no, which means no, but, okay? So no, not right now. No, not in the way that you think. No, not at the moment, okay? Your question number two, ask it now. What is the answer to question number two for Scorpio? Hard no. Whatever you just asked about, it's an absolutely no. It's a hell no. <laughs> it's a hell no. Okay, and question number three. What is the answer to question number three for Scorpio? It is a maybe. So when a maybe comes out, this means that maybe a situation needs more um, development, okay? So maybe there's certain conversations that have to be had before a more affirmative answer can be determined Perhaps there are certain events that have yet to take place that will actually determine the um, affirmative or negative of your uh, question. So this is something that just needs more time to develop. All right. So that is your reading, Scorpio. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. If this resonates a little too much and you need a personal reading, you can book at sadisandia.com. And of course, until the next time that I read for you all, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.